Warning this guy claims to be a Muslim preacher, we think he is Shia from Iran but lives in Sweden as he profiles, and he has a YouTube channel. He rejected several hadith in Sahih Muslim and insulted Imam Muslims. He rejects parts of Islamic Sharia law such as stoning for adulterers. If you are a Muslim and you claim to love Allah exalted he you must love Allah exalted he divine law. And this, he commands, judge thou between them by what Allah hath revealed, and follow not their vain desires, but beware of them lest they beguile thee from any of that, teaching, which Allah hath sent down to thee. And if they turn away, be assured that for some of their crime, it is Allah's purpose to punish them. And honestly, most men are rebellious. Do they then seek after a judgment of, the days of, ignorance? But who, for a people whose faith is assured, can give better judgment than Allah? Quran 549-50, if any do fail to judge by, the light of, what Allah hath revealed, they are, no better than, unbelievers. Quran 544, enter and if any fail to judge by, the light of, what Allah hath revealed, they are, no better than, wrongdoers. Quran, 545, enter for those Muslims who do not take Sunnah seriously as Muslims, our Iman is not complete without accepting and applying Sunnah in our lives. If you disagree with this statement, Inshallah Allah, you will change your opinion after reading this article. Many Muslims these days take Sunnah exceptionally lightly. As if it is okay to bunk or ignore an act that was diligently done by the Prophet, peace be upon him. Not knowing about a Sunnah is different, but if we are aware of a specific practice that the Prophet, peace be upon him, followed, not practicing it is certainly not wise. Also, know that the Sunnah is the explanation of the Quran. So not applying it in your lives will invariably leave a dent in your Iman. That's because if you claim to love your Prophet, peace be upon him, then not following his style is not an option. Thus, with this video, we attempt to highlight why we Muslims must get fully on board and imbibe how the Prophets lived if we were to love Rasulullah truly. At several places in the Quran, Allah has described obedience to the Prophet, peace be upon him, as part of obedience to him. But let us start with the following hadith where the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, None of you is a believer till I am dearer to him than his child, his father, and the whole of humankind. Muslim 176, Ibn Major the 1st of January 1967, the Sai 4729 and then we have this Quranic verse that leaves no room for ambiguity, it is not for a believer, man or woman, to exercise their choice in their affairs when Allah and his messenger, Prophet Muhammad, have decided on a matter. And whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger has certainly strayed into clear error. Quran 3336